All right, everybody, I want to welcome you once again to the Shine uh, Sponsored in part by the Ethereum Collection. Today, we are honored to have DPD3 up in the house today. How are you doing today, my brother? Fucking glorious. That's what's up. That's what's it's up. glorious. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me ask you a quick question. I know that you got fire music out there. Okay, I've been in contact with your manager. I understand that you're working on some new stuff as well, but we'll get to that later. Is that a fact? Oh, absolutely. I, I'm, okay. I'm in my studio right now, man. I'm always working. Okay, that's what's up. So, let me just ask you a question. What got you into the rap game? Now, before you answer that, I'm going to tell you why I asked you, okay? When I was about 15, 16, I thought I was going to be a rapper. I defaulted to be the DJ. But I couldn't handle it. I couldn't write. I didn't have the, you know, the, the concentration for it. But you're a different breed. So, tell me what got you into the rap game. Uh, it's, it's the stupidest story, but uh, when I was like six or seven, I heard a song Tipsy, one, here comes the two to the three to the four. And I'm like, I was like this is easy as hell. Okay. This is e and, and I was listening to rap all the time because that's, that's what my mom was playing in her car and all that shit as so I was listening to. So I was like, I heard that song and I was like, I can do this. So I, 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 was, I was like, yeah, no problem. So I did it. And then my first rap song, I didn't realize that bitch was a bad word. And I, I said, bitch. And my mom's like, I was like, wait a second. Wait a second. So, so I was. I've been writing since I was like six, but I didn't wow. rap. I didn't rap for nobody because I was like, oh, I can't say this word. That's got to make it better. So I was just writing curse words all the time. <laughs> you know I mean? So I could. I couldn't. I couldn't rap it for nobody. I couldn't rap it for anybody. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in elementary school. Wow. You know what I mean? Wow. So okay. So with that being said, so you got to start at the early age of six. Okay. When did you decide? Okay, I'm gonna start to focus. What it did. Uh, I think I think it probably it probably got to the point when when uh like my dad was like oh I don't like it oh, you know what okay. I mean <laughs> my dad yeah my dad's uh, my my mom and my dad are two two different two different sides of the fence and my, my dad was like I don't like rap music this isn't good I don't like it and I was like well if you don't like it then I'm gonna keep it. doing it it means I gotta <laughs> keep doing it. So I just kept, I kept working on it, kept working on it. I, I was, I was <clears throat> listening to, to, to songs that had long ass outros so I could rap over the end of their beat. So, wow. you know, I couldn't go on YouTube at the time, wasn't having instrumentals on there and stuff. So the closest you got to an instrumental was you either got the B side of a record mm. or you listen, you listen to the outro of, of something that's on your, now that's what I call music CD. Okay. You know, rapping and shit like that. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, let me ask you a question. Now that you have actually made an impact on the rap game, has he accepted his game or is he still on the fence? What? Uh, he's, he's supportive, but he don't listen to it. Okay. I mean, my dad's, my dad's a Jehovah Witness, so. Okay. So okay. it's like cursing, cursing, drugs, rap, it's not. So, uh -huh. you know what I mean? He'll, he'll ask me how I'm doing with it. You know, he's, he's giving me ideas on, on how to make my studio more soundproof, but he won't okay. listen to it. He don't go to a show. He don't see videos. Okay. So he, he's about as supportive as I expect him to be. And I mean, to be, fair, to be fair, he gave me my rap name as a okay. joke. As a joke. Didn't expect me to keep it. Here we are 20 years later, still using still the wait. same name. You're still waiting. Yeah, I want to stop you, but I want you to go ahead. DPD3, talk, talk to me about that. Yeah, it's just my initials. It's okay. David David Paul Dries the Third. I'm named after my dad. I thought it was something like super like no, wow. It's, it's not crazy. It's, and I like I said, I kept it because my dad gave it to me. And he was okay. like, he's like, oh, well, it rhymes. Like to make a joke out of it. And I was like, yeah, I like it. And here we are using it. I think it. you got five homies. I'm all over the place. Because your manager sent me the music. I'm listening to it. I said, it's fine. It's fine. And I'm like, DPD3. Well, what is this coming from? But, you know, sometimes when you overthink something, you miss the point. So that yeah. actually worked out for you. That yeah, it's, out. it's easy. Um... So, you told me that you used to listen to, like, uh, instrumentals and certain music, you know, get your soul going and stuff like that. Um, are there any icons that you have that you can salute? I think, I think obviously the obvious one and, you know, 
people are gonna call it like dick riding bandwagon shit because I'm a white rapper. But mm-hmm. Eminem is is obviously one of the one of the biggest influences I like for the way Eminem. that I put okay. it's for for the way that I put my lyrics together. You know the rhyme schemes and and how I rap and, and what I say. Mm-hmm. That was a big influence. Uh, DMX uh, and then there was X was actually the first uh, rap album that I ever purchased that I ever owned. You know what I mean? Oh. So his 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 like style, like the attitude. Is a definite influence. Uh, yeah, Eminem, DMX. I listen to a lot of Wu Tang. Uh, uh, I started okay. started changing my sounds. So I, I, have a, I have a Wu Tang record in the back there. Actually. You got Ghostface on your head. <laughs> yeah. So I started I started changing my style a lot more though uh, with some newer rappers. There's some newer rappers out that I listen to that kind of they kind of go for like a rock a rock rap sound, not like Limp Bizkit, <laughs> like that. But it, it's it's like it's trap metal. So it's just okay. heavy ass guitars over crazy 808s, and then you're just rapping some ignorant shit. All right, all right. Yeah, I noticed the similarities. That's why I had to ask you. Because I'm like, I bet he's going to say Eminem. I noticed something yeah, similar yeah. in your flow to Eminem. So I was yeah, like, Yeah, hands down, hands down. The, old Eminem, old Eminem. New Eminem, yeah. eh. eh, 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 eh. It, it, happen, it happens with time. Though. No, nah, no disrespect. I still listen to it. He's still making money. He just opened a restaurant. He don't, he don't got to rap good no more. He's done yeah. it. Yeah, so. true, true, true. Now, you said that you've been doing shows. Um, what, what I like, what was, and, and this is a two-side question, your best experience and your worst experience. Uh, my best experience? Um, it's probably uh, a couple months ago, uh, my best friend that I made music with actually uh, died. Oh, and wow. I found I found out the I found out the same day that I had a show that day. Wow. You know what I mean? And I wasn't gonna go. I was like, no, nah, I'm not going. I can't do it. I'm losing my shit. I'm a wreck right now. And then I was like, well, he rapped too. You know what I mean? Like he he was one of the people that was like, nah, bro, you really gotta like you gotta record. You gotta find somewhere to rap. You gotta do this shit serious. So I went to the show, and before I started, the host was like, hey, th- this man's best friend just died. You know what I mean? And he still showed up. You know what I mean? If you, you yeah. lose a ball player, you still got to play ball. This, that, and the third. And that was probably the best show in terms of of support. Okay. You know what I mean? I've, I've watched videos from my show because I was so out of it. I was just rapping my, my words. I wasn't paying attention to how people were reacting. Mm. I did my shit and then I left. But in the video, there's some Asian dude in the front losing his mind about to break his neck from banging his head. And... And I, I, there's people that I see in the, in the stage that are or in the crowd that are that are lip syncing to like the hooks of my songs and mm-hmm. bobbing their head and really feeling this shit. So that was probably my best experience, in, in, like like in terms of, of reciprocation for what I do mm-hmm. for rap music because it is a very different sound right. compared to what's out now. You know what I mean? You see somebody like me that gets up there, like I'm wearing a Slayer shirt. Okay. I don't I don't I don't look like I rap. Right, you know I mean? right, right. So, so it throws them off. Right. And then my worst experience was uh, a guy by the name of Don Pacino, apparently a Wu Tang affiliate. He uh, he was holding like a birthday bash performance, you know what I mean? Showcase thing. You paid like 50 bucks, you got in, you performed, and you got to meet some guy that hung out with Wu Tang. Now I know why he's not famous and Wu Tang still is, because this guy right. sucks. But uh, that show, he ended up getting so drunk that he redid his set probably 20 times what? the dj the dj was getting his music off youtube he didn't even have a play a, a set list and then wow. when it was finally my turn when it was finally my turn it was like two o'clock like bars closed you know what wow. i mean wow and the 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 owner of the venue was like you can go up there but you're not doing the whole thing and i thought he was going to at least let me do one song i got to the second verse of my first song and the the lights turned on they unplugged the mic like everything stopped just shut down wow shut down kick us out probably the worst wow. experience i ever had hands down yeah no i doubt. can imagine i would have been pissed it's not even about oh, i was oh, i was pissed we we try to we try to get don pacino outside to be like hey bro like you owe me my 50 bag yeah, you know what yeah. i mean you wanted to, you fucked up my shit you owe my 50 bag and he hauled ass into the car and left like he wow. didn't even apologize for shit wow. Wow, the, you know, the industry is definitely changed, definitely changed. We're going to take a quick break, and then we're going to jump right back in, okay? All right. Okay. All right, so 
with that, uh, I'm still thinking about that worst experience. Uh, but I have to highlight the fact that you just went on autopilot to be a best experience. You know, so that means, to me, that means that that's something integral to you. Because your mind was someplace else. You knew you had a responsibility to do the show. You got yeah. it, you did your thing, but you were in a state of just doing what I do. Because you said yourself, you look back at the video and you're like, oh, wow. The crowd is really vibing off of this. So that's always a good thing. So that means that it's something internal to you. Now, yeah, yeah. what I really want to discuss, and I want to discuss this now because it's just getting to me. New project. Talk to me about the new project. January. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm planning on that's dropping it. I go on people's Facebook pages. I'm, I'm planning. I'm planning on. I, I wasn't gonna drop. I might drop a single before the end of the year because I just recorded a single and it's fire, but it's nowhere in the direction that I want to go for the new project. Okay. Uh, I've been like I get I get in weird weird vibes because I listen to all styles of rap. I listen to the gangster rap. I listen to East Coast West Coast boom bap, uh, trap drill whatever whatever. If it's if it's rap, I listen to it. I give okay. everybody a chance and then I determine if I think it's shit or not. Okay. And I got I got into like this weird boom bap vibe, so I'm I'm working on a project now that I'm I'm just gonna call it Winter Blues, and the whole shit is is just like some real '90s New York era boom bap styled shit. You know what I mean? Okay. Like a little Jay Z type of influence oh. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. That's, that's, that's the vibe we're going check. for. See if I can get a uh, sneak peek at that. Uh, but uh, yeah, definitely, definitely, cause. I'm noticing that you do embrace both styles of hip hop. You know, you just went down the whole list. Yeah, I, 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 I love rap, man. I love rap. <laughs> um, now you had a bad experience with a promoter. The industry as a whole for independent artists. What do you think is wrong with it right now? Uh. I think I think people people enjoy what you look like more than what you sound like. You know what I mean, if, if you if you look at anybody that's that's making it right now, like it's a crazy, a crazy ass meme on on TikTok is of those island boy kids mm-hmm. with the it, lo- it looks like they got hot dogs on their head or some shit. Yeah, and, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just people are like, oh, you look like this, so I'm gonna listen to it, even if I clown you. Right. I'm still gonna listen to it, but I look like this, and nobody's gonna bother hit and play because it's not auto tune. It's not. It's not. You know, I'm not singing because I can't sing for shit. You know I mean, I don't want to kill nobody's eardrums, but so it's it's the the, the problem with, with especially with underground right now is it's a it's a lot of how you look, not how you sound, mm-hmm. and it's also a lot of a lot of who you know. Yeah, you know, yeah. You're associated with this, this, that, and the third. Right. I'm I'm a freckle faced white kid. Like nobody's gonna. <laughs> you know what I mean, but I gotta I, I gotta say shit to get you to listen. So if I start right. off my track with a fuck you, now you might listen. Right, right, right. So ho- hopefully people will tune into the video podcast and they will see that not only do you say fire, you know, people shouldn't judge a book by its cover. They, they really shouldn't. Um, and, and this world of audio that we live in, it's about this. It's not about this, it's about this. You know, if the music is fire, it's fire. I remember the first time I heard Eminem, I was like, who the hell is this? But the first time I heard him, I heard him. So yeah. by the time I knew who he was, it was like, oh, so what? Doesn't Ooh, matter. Take it. The music take is fire. It. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you can now, another thing in the industry for independent is I, I find that independents don't get the shine that they deserve because y'all out there grinding, y'all putting out fire after fire. You got no choice. Absolutely. You got no choice because you got to be recognized. You know, but you don't have the huge budget. You don't have labels that say, hey, we want you to video for every single view. You know, what do you think needs to be changed all the way? Not just with the industry, because right now the industry, if you've got 10 million views on YouTube, then you're in. Yeah. But you could be fired and have 500 views due to the hater brigade, and you're not in. So what mm-hmm. needs to be changed? I think I think people just need to get off their high horse. You know what I mean? I mean you're 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 like especially even even people's friends group. You know what I mean? Start supporting people and, and, and shit like that because 
there was a time before social media when you were rapping on the street and people had no choice but to listen to it mm. and they can't they couldn't tell you to your they couldn't tell you to your face oh you're trash if you're not trash right if you're right. good they had no choice but to be like oh you're fired now right. everybody's a bunch of computer thugs and they're like oh this guy's shit mm. just because they're not yeah. doing something they like you know what i mean be a little more supportive be a little more supportive your friend group is is quick to share drake's new album that just dropped but i drop a track and oh, yeah. get three people that might share you know what i'm saying like you know what i mean just, just recognize you all in the same spot you're no better than the next person you're all working and, a nine and, drake five. Really care about and yeah and drake don't give a shit <laughs> drake, yeah. drake don't give a shit he got his advance already he's not gonna be like oh thanks bro i really needed that <laughs> exactly exactly i i've never understood that with social media is how people write these long posts about an established artist, basketball player, actor, actress, it doesn't matter. And it's like their friends are out there grinding their asses off to get to even close to that level. And it's, and it's pulling teeth. It's pulling yeah. teeth to get a light. It's like, bro, you just spent 15 minutes talking about how good this album is. It takes you 15 seconds to hit share. Yeah, share. Don't even got to oh, say nothing. Don't even, even got to say nothing. Yep. Yep, I agree with you. I, I agree with you. Um, before we go to break, I want to ask you a very, very important question. How do you summarize success in the fact? I mean, you, DDD3, not everybody else, you. I think, I think for me, I think I'll, I'll feel successful when it gets to the point where we're not just in the city, because I mean, in the city, it's like, oh, that's, I know who that is, yada, yada. I get stopped every 15. When I when I can do a show by myself and and get the same support in in Houston or New York as I get in Allentown or whatever the case may be, you know, what I, mean? I just want to get to the point where people recognize that I worked hard for this mm-hmm. and they appreciate it. I don't care if I don't pay my bills off of it. You know, what I mean, that's that's the goal ultimately. But for me, I'll be I'll be successful when when people that I don't know are stopping me and saying, "Yo, this is." This is the yeah. shit. You're yeah, good. definitely, definitely. Um, we're gonna go to break real quick, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk about that celebrity. That's you. All right. All right. The Ethereal Collection. I know you're up there. I can feel you now. I know that you're afraid. You're afraid of us. You're afraid of change. I don't know the future. I didn't come here to tell you how this is going to end. I came here to tell you how it's going to begin. I'm going to hang up this phone, and then I'm going to show these people what you don't want them to see. I'm going to show them a world without you. Ethereal Collection, the fashion line inspired by Red Media Radio. All right, we're back right here at the shine. We're with DPD3. Independent recording artists dropping fire. We've covered so many different subjects about the industry. But what I want to do is talk about the fame factor. You live in Allentown, PA. Uh, not a huge town. We're not talking about New York City. But I'm sure when you're in the supermarket, when you're in Target, when you're, you know, out and about doing your thing, doing DPT3, I'm sure people stop and be like, hey, I know you. Where do I know you? Or, you know, maybe even autographs. I don't know. You know, but how do you handle that? Uh, I mean, like, uh, it, it, it depends on the situation. If, it, if it's just me out by myself, you know, and somebody stops me, I'll stand to talk a little bit, be like, hey, how you doing? What's up? What's your name? This, that, and third. Get to know him as a person because I ain't shit. I'm still a regular ass guy. You know what I mean? I, 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 got, a, I got a 2006 Hyundai Tiburon. Like, I'm not bougie. Okay. <laughs> So it's it's hey how you doing what's up I appreciate the support yeah I got I got this drop and this is coming out you know keep a lookout for it once again appreciate the support if not with my kid it might be a little quicker my kid don't right, got right, my, my, my kids my kids too that, that's his attention span right, you know what I mean he wants to go do it. so it's oh thanks I appreciate that you know hit me up on Instagram Facebook or something you want to talk I'll holler at you later but lo- love the support right you know what I mean. Right. Right, no, that, that's that, that's definitely keeping it real, you know, because, hey, listen, you, you got a well, two-year-old, I got a two-year-old, right, there, just, man, it's just like that. It, it don't last. <laughs> I know. It don't last. You start pulling on you, like, let's go. Um, what is the process that goes into 
writing. The DVD three took down the damn one. I, I got a feeling for a track. What is that process like? Uh, it's a lot of it's a lot of. I listen to beats for hours. I listen to beats for hours, depending on what what vibe I'm in, depending on who what artist I might have listened to that day, might also depend on the mood I'm in. You know, I was listening to an Eminem track, then it's an Eminem, it's an Eminem sound and beat, you know, or or the trap metal shit, then it's the trap metal beat, and a lot of it is just I listen to a beat and I I hum shit. You know what I mean? I, I hum the flow that I want. So did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, and then I'll go back and be like, I right, now I gotta write it like that. Okay. And, and try to try to fit the flow as much as possible. It's, it's also it's also a lot of looking up big words that people don't use. Okay. But that I but that <laughs> I know rhyme. Vocabulary. But but that I know rhyme. And then I'll I'll figure out that word that rhymes and then I gotta figure out what it means so I know how to make it make sense from one bar to the next and I can still use this word where people are like, wait, what the fuck did this man just say? What did he just say? And they got to go back and listen to it. And if they got to look up the word, they got to look up the word. I mean, you learn something new every day. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Win-win. Definitely win-win. I mean, I love that. I love that whole, uh, that whole process. I think it's the first time I've heard about that. Well, a rapper has actually admitted that, hey, listen, I'm going to go look up this word and make sure that it makes sense to our flow. You know, I, this I also you're like where'd that word come from? It doesn't make any yeah, sense. Yeah, it just it don't, it don't it don't match. I also started doing a thing now. Uh, I haven't released. I might release a whole giant project of it at some point, but it's just called Done in a Day. So I, I come home since my studio is in my crib now. I go upstairs. I gotta find the beat. I gotta write the lyrics and I gotta record it all on the same day. Wow. Because and it's never it's not always the best song. Wow, it ain't that's always a good, project. but it. But what it does is it is it keeps my brain flowing and keeps me in in the zone of writing music because every every rapper has it. They get writer's block where you might not write for two three right. weeks, but right. like this doing the done in the day shit keeps me constantly writing and, and thinking of rhymes and how to flow it together and and stuff like that. So it, I may release a project of it. I may not. It's just something that I do to keep my brain sharp. That's, that's awesome. Please keep me posted if you do decide to move forward, but I think it's an awesome idea. I think it's reality show type material, actually. Um, but now, most people know where to find you at. Where would they go? I mean, just give me a list. I got time. So give me a list where they can find you at. Uh, you can find me on, on Facebook. Uh, the page is DPD3. Uh, Instagram is the real DPD3. SoundCloud's the same shit. Uh, I don't do Twitter. It's too confusing. You know what I mean? Twitter's <laughs> Twitter's Twitter's yeah, toxic. Forty characters. Come on. Twitter's Twitter Twitter's <laughs> Twitter's toxic, man. It's so it's so hard to get anywhere with that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, iTunes, Spotify is the same thing. DPD three. Okay. And that's that's pretty much it. I don't do the TikTok either because I don't like lip syncing to other people's <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? I think that's just weird. You. YouTube is also the real DPD3. Uh, I just released a video on Halloween. Just released that video. Which one was that? Uh, it's called Write Your Tragedies in Blood. And then... Go and then I'm going to ask you if you should actually send it so that we can put it between the breaks. I want all your music between the breaks. So I'm going right, to send that over to me. You don't mind. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I ain't making money off of it yet, so, you know. I ain't never say that. Never say never before. <laughs> Nah, that's why we call it the shine, is because we want not only for you to be able to inspire others that is that are on the path and just haven't gotten as far as you. I remember my first my first check that I got off rap. I was so hyped, but I was so pissed too, because <laughs> they were like, I got I got a notification. Your statement is ready for the month of July or whatever the hell it was, and I'm like, oh cool, like this song just did like twenty thousand plays. I gotta be rolling in the dough. Eighty two cents. 82 cents so reality check right there Twenty thousand plays don't get you shit but twenty thousand plays but but i still got a check i'm yes. still getting paid you know what i mean i can make a phone call in some states with that 82 cents and you know what at the end of the day you know there's, there's, there's somebody out there that wishes they can get those twenty thousand views or those twenty. 000. Oh yeah absolutely absolutely so that's why i always ask each artist you know if you had to talk to somebody coming through this game or even talk to yourself when you first involved in this game, what advice would you give? Uh, you, 
you know, get get hype at 100 plays. You know what I mean? Don't don't look at 100 plays and just be like, oh, it's just 100 plays. That's 100 plays. You know what I mean? There was a time where I wasn't getting plays at all because I wasn't recording for shit. I used to I used to rap in in the microphone of my laptop. Wow. And then and then I upgraded to upgraded to a karaoke mic that was connected to a Radio Shack microphone interface. Wow. And and wow. I just kept going and going, man. You know what right. I mean? My first music video was done with me holding my laptop and using the camera on my laptop. Are you but serious? That's I swear to God. But yeah, that's it was that grind. It was, absolutely, it's a grind. You know what I mean? If it's something that you want to do, and like I said, got hype at that hundred plays. Who cares how shit it sounds? For the time being, if you don't have the means to go to a studio and do it, right. then you do you do whatever you got to do to make sure that you keep doing it till you get to the right. point where you can go to a studio and record that good shit, and you can get that twenty thousand plays, that hundred thousand plays, whatever it may be right. that you're striving for. Yeah, you know I mean, what, whatever it is that's keeping you doing it, keep doing it. Don't don't stop doing it because people are like, oh, this sounds like ass. Yeah, it sounds like ass. So what? But I'm not making it for you. I'm making it so that when it sounds good, I can tell you to suck off. You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. I think that's the, the problem in the industry is, I, I think back in the 90s, what screwed it all up is everybody had to come out the gate and leave gold, better yet platinum. And yeah. it, 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 it's kind of a hard goal to reach unless you have a major sponsor. And like you said earlier, having to make smart you need to know people, uh, you have to be running in the right circles, which isn't easy to do. You know, I, I grew up in New York. I ran around in circles, but it's not, a, it's not easy to integrate yourself into all of those circles. It's like the time consuming. You yeah, know? it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Find the time yeah. for it. You know what I mean? You got to yeah. find the time for it. And, but what you what you basically said to those that are trying to get into this game is just keep going. Don't don't focus on all of that. Just focus on your craft, you and, know, and that. And, and also as as a rapper, I mean, it, uh, engineers, producers, that's a whole different, that's a whole different monster. But as a rapper too, you gotta, you gotta treat it like a nine to five, but don't, don't, don't lose the fun in it. Right. You know what right, I mean? Right, it's your job. Right. You know what I mean? If you're right and you're working, if right. you're listening to beats, you're working. You're 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 performing. You're working. You know what I mean. Treat it like a job, but, but don't forget why you started doing it because you enjoy doing it. Yeah. Nobody wakes up and says, "I gotta be a rapper because I have to be." Like it's something that you enjoy doing. You know what I mean? Right. It's right. not a warehouse worker or, or retail. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Um. Final question. Uh, I wish I could spend the whole day talking, but I'm loving where you're coming from. Uh. Final question. Where do you see DP D3, okay, in the year 2022? Uh, everywhere, everywhere. I got I got merch that I'm working on myself. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm helping uh, my manager. He also runs a uh, an engineering company, so okay. he he brought me on to help him engineer. So if I'm not if I'm not somewhere rapping, then I'm somewhere on a T-shirt or I'm somewhere making somebody else sound good. They gonna remember that name. They, they gonna know me somehow. <laughs> they gonna know me somehow. I got videos coming out. I got projects coming out. New music coming out. I got a joint project with a with one of my with a, a close friend that's in my label as well okay. uh, that we've been working on for the last two years. But I mean, it's only been so it's only been two years because we write a track and the next track is better. Mm. It's mm. like, well, now I can't release this one because this one's shit compared to this one. Uh, you hear what I just said, bro? You hear what I just said, man? L listen to it again. <laughs> so that's everywhere, that's up. that's where I plan on being, is everywhere. That's what's up. There, there's no better place to be than everywhere. Uh, I want to thank you for chopping it up with me right here on RedMediaRadio.com. I need to I need to be kept in, in the loop of everything that you're doing. I respect your music. I respect your work. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Yeah, we're, we're going to definitely keep you measure. I want videos of you. Uh, anything, any final words for the Red Media Radio audience? Uh, look out for me. I'm coming. You're coming. Yeah. There you go. That's what's up. That's if, what's if you're up. if you're a rapper watching this and you're mad because I'm on here, stay mad. <laughs> okay, that's what's up. Keeping it real. Keeping it real. Uh, hey, listen again. Thank you for chopping it up. Uh, you've been listening to the Shine right now, RedMediaRadio.com. 
uh, sponsored by the Ethereal Collection. DPD3, he is the man. He's coming for you. He's coming for you, I'm telling you. All right. Out. My brother, thank you very much. I salute you. Well, appreciate you for having me, man. Not a problem. Not a problem. I, I got my wrist cut with a big ass knife from inside of my jeans. I said I don't do drugs, but we all know what that actually means. I'm high as fuck, got bad luck from the cat that I have in my feet. Bitches all black and a big cunt, but that shit just don't bother me. Cause I worship Satan, I know that I said it a million times in the past. But you think I'm kidding, I want you to listen Why you think I wear red and black Red for the blood that I'm planning to spill Black for the funeral too Think that it's you that I have in my plans to get killed Then I guess that means that I'm really you huh. You don't understand the fucking thing that I be saying When I say it now, do you? Do you? But when I got you twitching, I'm wishing that I would stop You remember when I said I do voodoo Maybe I was kidding, maybe I was not Guess you should've stayed on my good side Surrounded by these fields, cause I'm cream of the crop My homies never took me for a woods guy But that's where the bodies all rot That's where the witnesses stop That's where I take everybody that fucks with my patients And give them serrations that would disgrace docs Speaking of docs, I'm taking a trip Got some more shit I should drop in the lake Pray to your God, but this world isn't his And this is as far as you got with your faith, man Guess it was useless, bitch, you was stupid In the woods with arrows, but I ain't no Cupid A nuisance that hangs with them hooligans And had a chance to do good, but we choose to sin And anybody in my way, I'ma move them quick And send them up to tell my grandma I do this shit Rude as shit, biggest snot when a ruga hits Who's a bitch when your blood is drained and I use the ditch To soak a crucifix on that looser shit I mean Lucifer, what's the difference when I lose my shit? What happens when a rapper that is known as cool as shit Is supposed to be an asshole that he knew he is Guess I'm back on the bullshit, half you won't do shit The other half of what I'm getting back with a full clip, yeah. Right, show tragedy and blood. Mama always asking why I have to be a dog in his cuz. It's the only thing I know, so fuck off. Anyone running lips and they get the tongue cut off. Everybody bling the music when I wanna let a gun up, but don't consider they cunts, and it's the way that they come off. Well, now they knowin' it. Said I was a demon, and I'm finally showing it. Parents getting pissed cause they kids say I'm going in. They don't understand the kind of power that I'm holding in. It's like I'm super Satan, but reality of it is I'm super Satan, and I'm used to blatant, so don't get shocked when I say you're a stupid basic who should hang himself quicker. I use the blade and use you for a worshiping ritual. Hoodie down low, let it block my peripheral, and it's cool. I got the devil on my six and a 45 ready in case you try to meet your wham, motherfucker. Who are you? I'm Callista Flockhart. Who the hell do you think I am? I'm dead, 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 dead. If I don't make money, I'll spit in some raps I'm a death, get a check just from whipping some ass I'm a killer, no new shit, I've been in my bag Dressed for the tech, so the jeans gonna sag I'm a bastard, nothing really changed but the breath control I got more than ETI like a centerfold Someone once said I'm bold I'm just doing what I was taught, brought the lectures home School of hard knocks, never skipped a class I was 14 with big bloods and bits of yak Had a strap just in case we played tip and tap you can see me when you saw me, don't forget the yak I always got mine, I was never caught lacking Shoot out at the red light, let it right there in traffic Do what I need a second, guess it never happened Snapped over a gram, but I never snapchat it So messing with me, got a hoodie down low low Life doesn't flash in a second, it goes slow-mo Jake's asked a question, but the answer we all know bro Don't need to spin a block, he's a split like a row -ho. I ain't feel when you speak, my view ain't even so so But you better shut up before I fuck up your whole jaw All that tough talk and you turn into a ho ho Let's have to try and shoot a 45 from a fofo -fo. Sweet a little bitch on my dick with some bullshit Talking hella crazy, trying to dab me on some cool shit Heard your chicken thought for you the one with some loose lips we'll do a name drop cause a faggot ain't gon' do shit, huh? 
I'm on that type of time Tired of being civil when I write these rhymes Her police steady watching with supply that sounds Cause I've been putting in work, but I'm white as five And that's quite alright, I ain't gon' bitch Cause my record clean, gotta run a stick up When I should really have a felony Fuck what you bitches telling me, there's nothing you could ever be That put fear in my heart on the scariest things It's on her face, yeah Now I'm chopping it up and I got a problem With people act like they pop on the tub So I pop up in a drop top with a monster with stuns And bullets so fucking deadly, but I can cop them Because I'm a smart ass criminal Ain't gonna catch me, still ride around with machetes in the backseat Split your whole top like a Hannibal like the Tennessee Full automatic clap anyone in the vicinity Oh, you feeling froggy leap Get hit quick Pull it to your stomach Turn your insides to biscuits. quick Sick of freestyles Wanna hook don't even risk it Be happy I ain't kill you little bitches like intended Uh Thank you. 